back to painting and decorating. Now, someone commented, how do you deal with um, paint wrapping? Meaning when you've took the wallpaper off, you left. Sometimes with the paint that has peeled off um, because it's not adhered proper to the plaster. That's why I like using diluted PVA because it stops this future thing happening. Um, I mean, this is probably a failed mist coat because somebody's not watered it down enough um, and then the paste and the water pulls it off. Um, it's not an easy one to get rid of. It depends how fat the layer of paint is, to be honest. That can make it more difficult. This isn't too bad, it's quite thin. So, I'm lucky on this job because I'm actually putting wallpaper on the wall, um, so it's going to hide a lot of it anyway. But, if you was going to paint this, the first step, which should already have been done really, is you've washed off the wallpaper paste. Uh, wallpaper paste, it's um, a substance that get, once, once it gets wet, it goes soft again. So you wet the wall, leave it for 10 minutes, wet it again, and it'll all just start coming up as a gel, and you wash that off. Let it dry, give it a really good sand down, and then give it a coat of paint and see what you're left with. You might be lucky and it looks smooth enough, and another couple of coats will do the job. First, wet the wall and give it a bit of a scrub as well. This all helps in smoothing it out. Leave that five minutes, wet it again. Then you can scrape it off. You see that? Oh, well that's the that's what you're getting rid of. scrub. It's a slow process but it's the only way. Give it a wipe. Now sometimes you can actually see if you can scrape bits. Well, that's not uh, I'd say that's not too bad. It still wants to come off. But by the time we finish the process it'll be alright. Show you how to get around that. Now, next stage, you've got to let it completely dry. Once it's dried off, you want to give it a sand down. I'm using uh, P80. Dust it off. Now for a coat of diluted PVA. It's all diluted. And just coat the wall up. And this helps again to smooth out any remaining edges. 
and it also soaks through and helps adhere all this other paint as well because it just soaks in. Right. Allow that to dry and then you're ready to put your first coat of paint on. That's the other bonus with diluted PVA. Once that's dry, you can um, put your paint on without thinning it down. So you don't need to have a mist coat. You can do a mist coat instead of the PVA. It's up to you. That's dry enough now. It's only about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You don't have to let it dry fully. Now I'm using Leyland Contract Matte. Uh, brilliant white. Now it's funny stuff this because it looks like it's not covering and it's not got good opacity. And I've not actually even thinned this out so it kind of looks like it's going on as a mist coat but it's not. Sometimes you know build up on the paint as you're putting it on because it absorbs in a bit. Now I'm gonna leave that to dry and then we can have a closer look and you can actually see how much it bleaches out. Um, I say it's funny paint, you put it on sometimes and you think oh the opacity is not that good on that and then you go back to it once it's fully dry and it doesn't look too bad at all so we'll leave that for a bit. So that's dried now, now that's only one coat, let's have a closer look, so I'll use my hand there, now you can see Nice and smooth that. You can't see any ridges or anything like that. So a light sand and a second coat and that'll be perfect.